Hello and happy National Bison Day. Again, I say, who knew all of these National Recognition Days? Well, actually, I have a friend who knew. Um, my friend Chris Karras, he, uh, he always treats us to some National Recognition Days. So I hopeful, hopefully I am on track with, uh, with him. Uh, with that said, we're doing bison burgers. And I want to tell you a little bit about bison. In our house, we use bison a fair amount. Uh, generally speaking, we only eat uh, turkey and chicken and then fish, but we do like to have some red meat from time to time. And when we do, our go-to is bison. And it's in large part because it's leaner than beef and it is um, uh, rich in protein, and iron and B12 and zinc. Um, and it's a good say, a source of omega uh three fatty acids. So um, and we really feel like it works out really well for us. And it is it is very lean. It's very flavorful. And we, we enjoy that a lot. Uh, because, however, it is lean, it cooks quickly. And you really don't want to cook it on a high heat. It gets tough. And so you don't want to do that. Um, but when you're cooking it, if you sear it, all of the juice stays in. And then um, you go ahead and uh, cook it for a short amount of time. Um, and I think actually I have a note here, uh, cooking it to an internal temperature of 160 um, just until the pink starts to disappear. So uh, you really want to stay on that, but it cooks quickly. So you don't have to, you don't have to worry uh, too much about that. So we're going to do that uh, three minutes aside on our grill. I have my double burner grill pan over here. This is by Pampered Chef. A double burner grill pan uh, with the press. And so I've got that there ready to go. Um, what I've already done, I use my chopper to chop some uh, mushrooms and onions. I cooked those off on the stove and I've already added those in. Additionally, I added in my panko uh, whole wheat breadcrumbs. We like the whole wheat breadcrumbs. Um, uh, they're flavorful. This was this is this is a very flavorful mixture. We've used this before, and then I've also added a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. So these are great little burgers. We really uh, we really like them. But the tool that we are using today is our burger and slider press, and you can see that this is the slider. If we were going to make the smaller burgers, we would just fill that up and we would just press that down and we'd create our our burgers. But today for dinner. We're going to use the larger size. So um, we, I am going to go get my new favorite tool. You've heard me talk about it before. This is our, um, this is our scoop. And so I'm going to scoop in here. Okay, oh I'm just throwing it all over the place. There you go. All right, and this is how we do it. We just roll this around. Roll that around. Now you're going to see here that there is an, um, a, a notch right there, and that creates, let me just take a look, there we go, creates a little dimple in the middle of the burger. You know, you have your burgers and how they, they puff up into little pillows. Well, this prevents that, and it creates really nice even burger. So the cooking temperature is good. This is really great. And I'm just going to put it right down here. There it is. Look at that. I just want to show you. Look at how beautiful that is. And on the other side is that little dimple so that we don't have to worry about it puffing up like that. All right. So let's see if I can have some better aim this time. There we go. Let's try that. And again, we're just, we're just, Putting it a little bit a little extra in there, and we're just rolling that around, rolling that around until we get a nice even burger there. There we go. All right, and again, we'll just flip that out. Perfect. Uh, almost done because this will create for us, as I said, four burgers. Looks like. A Looks like Bijou is back in the house. I see she was out and about. She's looking for a treat. Um, from time to time, I think you will see her show up in our videos. Uh, she has a tendency to sit right over there and watch because she's waiting for something, desperately waiting for something to fall to the floor. 
All right, and let me go ahead and, yep, there you go. I made a little mess there. That's, that's good. And now it looks like we're down to the last one. Here we go. Very good. All right, I have a couple things I need to get there. That, that's good. And I'm going to crust that with a little uh, crust blend. So I'm going to do that. Uh, the grill pan is almost ready to go. There we go. There. Nope, almost. You know what? I made a mess there. Um, that was my fault. Hmm, bummer. All right, let's see if I can try that again. That, that didn't work out so well. Oh my goodness. I think it's getting to be the end of the day. I think I waited too long to get dinner together, so no doubt. Now, let's see if I can do a better job with that. I hope so. I hope so. Oh, perfect. Great. Great, 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 great. All right, so I have them on my cutting board. I'm going to put them over here. And uh, we'll be ready to go in a minute. And actually, I think I am going to not stuff those, but I am going to get ready and put some, some of this on there. And uh, although that does not normally conduct heat, neither did my. Oh, let's see. It's over here, actually. Let me get my pot holder. Uh, normally, that press does not conduct heat, but I had it on there for a long time. Um, and then some high heat there. So I am just going to pull that off, put that there for a minute. All right, and I am going to use my silicone brush. I am going to just get that ready. And here we go. Can you hear that sizzle? It is. So terrific. There we go. We got all four on here. Okay. All right, I'm going to throw that in my sink. Let that sit there for a minute. I am going to go ahead and I am going to put my crust on, the crusty mixture. Normally I would have put that on over there, but um, all right, and now, there we go. All right, so we're gonna let that sit three minutes. We will flip it over, although the, the uh, grill pan, when I put the press on top, if you can see this press, it's really terrific. It really does uh, conduct that heat. So you have to really watch because, uh, like I said, the bison cooks quickly. So we want to make sure that we're able to um, get it off the heat if we need to. All right, so that is our burger and slider press. And it is National Bison Day. And we will have bison burgers tonight for dinner. And I hope you will give it a try as well. All right, looking forward to seeing you soon. Hope you're all well. And uh, don't forget to go watch me on uh, Sandy's Sweet and Savory. Take care.